after the first pitch. Here is that first offer to Kwong. Just high to start with that fastball, big part. Better in the knuckle curve, change up sinker, not so much. There's another fastball, that one called a straight in an RBI last night in the second of a doubleheader. Ground ball to first, easy hop. Over. Ahmed Rosario at short today for Cleveland. Just inside on a fastball. Eight strikeouts just before the All-Star break against the Twins. Fly ball to right. Tracking is Gavin Sheets, and he'll put it. And left-handers will make some contact on occasion. First pitch outside on a slider. First inning. Liam Hendricks on to pitch the ninth in a tie game. Kicks and fires. A high foul one. 0-2. Oh he might be named to that team despite starting on the last day before the break. Naylor takes high one and two. Him going forward. Because Sox need him to have a dominating few months. Nice to that. Naylor grounds one left side. Sox were shifted. So that's a two out single and the first base runner of the day. Died as a Bray who holds Naylor on. Another one cranked into the outfield and through the five and a half hole. So first and second. Early pitch here too. Early at bat. First one high on a fastball. 82 degrees and just a bit of wind out of the southwest. Fly ball into right center. Ranging is Engel and he'll make the catch. 4,500 for Shane Bieber. C steals a first to Owen Miller. Well, I'm thinking Dylan might be a, a value play. You gotta like those numbers for him. Start to at this point, if he stays healthy, he's got a really good chance. Kicking the 1 1 fouled off by O. You gotta take into account the team they're on, the division they're in. Line drive into left and down. So another leadoff man on as Miller takes a big turn. Ernie Clement, the hitter. Dylan just clips the corner with a fastball and a good one. We've seen him up around 97, 98 already today. That and on his slider curve. Good block behind set four last night. 1-1. Down on a slider. Second ball. Lead away from first for Miller. Pitch to Clement. Ground ball just fouled on the third baseline. So Terry Francona walks in. It's been a long day for everybody. It was a split doubleheader. As you know, probably it, it started at 12. Things changed in a heartbeat in that locker room. Cease fires a 2-2. High chopper. Third base side. Moncada's got it on the big hop. And a good scoop by Jose. Urging at third. Miller can't even think about getting it. Ceases first to Austin Hedges. Misses just away. Hedges one of two backstops. 1-0 pitch. Rip and a miss. Good heater from Cease. Kick in the 1-1. Yeah. Rip and a miss. There's the breaking ball tightening up to grip on the slider. Looking for exactly that. More depth. 1-2. Got the depth there. Not the command, though. Cease is 2-2 on the way. Just in. I think, too, when Cease has the reputation. Ball fastball until he shows you something different. Call strike three with a big slider. Right. It's Owen Miller away from second. Cease's offer is a check swing, and he went around 0-1. Outfield not very deep. For Cease ready in the 0-1. Just high. These days. Is the 1 1 slider right out in the outside corner for Miles Straw? They get him to chase. Tried it, bounced away, and up with it. No throw. Probably a good idea to eat that by Sebi Zavala. Couldn't quite even bigger. The first run of the game potentially at third. Cease misses outside with a breaking ball. It's a big 3 2 early to Miles Straw. Called strike three. He got him. Bieber for five runs in the second, and they've got Dylan Cease out for the third. First pitch misses inside of Stephen Kwan, 0 for 1, the leadoff man for Cleveland. Juan Moncada pulled in at third, toes on the ground, walking people. Recalibrated after two balls. 
And he's going to try to wait until he gets his pitch, not the pitcher's pitch. Took it out of the mix to get that number to you. And it's been updated already. Sees his 2 2 inside on a slot. 3 2 from Dylan. Got him swinging. The single best pitch in the major leagues, the Cease slider. Well, and you see the distance, too, between Cease and second place. 22 strikeouts separates him. Now he's got his stuff back. One to Rosario. Perfectly placed at 3.30 p.m. before the White Sox take on the A's at 7.10. You can enjoy food and drink specials, play games. One and two from Cease to Rosario. And just foul off the netting right side. See what Sebi decides. There's the one, two. Sebi was set up outside. Dylan spiked a slot. Dylan into the motion and a 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball foul. Nice job of staying alive on that slider. That slider was on the inner portion. Colored pen. It's the pen of many colors. Rocked into left center. Rosario is going to make a bid for extra bases. The big turn as Engel gets it in. He'll slide. One already with a single. It was a two-out knock against Cease in the first. This one's going to get away from Sebi Zavala. And down to third goes Rosario. Still a wild pitch, however. 1-0 coming. Let the narrative to come back with a shutdown inning, but you like it. It's ahead of Naylor. Runner away from third. That's Rosario. Cease brings it home. The slider misses down. Here's the pitch. Tapped out in front of home plate. Dylan on to play it. His only play at first, and the throw is. Big swing and a big miss. And Sebi. Here's the 0 1. Got him a chase. 0 oh, 2. See if that's where they're headed. It was. Couldn't get Reyes to bite. Here's the pitch by Dylan. Tapped out to third. Moncada's got it. The flip to second. Larry to first. He got it. Season in night games. First pitch from Dylan Cease. Andre said, Connor, I'm Connor. And he said, that's great. That was the end of the conversation. Connor watch of Bedford Park. White Sox put five up against Bieber in the second. And then as fouls one off. Now that'd be a fun camp day. You know, can you out hit Tim Tebow day? <laughs> Get a lot of winners in that carnival game. Popped up left side. Into play it is Polly's nice job. I'll be honest, I prepped for that for days, then forgot about it. Cease gets a first pitch fastball to Owen Miller. And as you reminded me just moments ago, I panicked. Randy Jackson thought it was a little pitchy. Well, Cease's fastball clips the corner 0 and 2. Or is that it for the singing? No, that's uh, we're, we're retiring until they come up with a second verse. <laughs> Slider total. Here's the one two delivery. Fouled off to keep the ground ball right side of Brayu with a good scoop and he'll win the foot race. Three inning yet today. This might be his first. First pitch slider. That's a butte. 0 and 1. Another deal with them in the fifth. Here's the 0-1. The breaking ball down, one and one. I remember there's certain guys that I had, and of course he always was, and he usually killed me. One one popped up, and so for Dylan Cease, this is a whole lot of thunder in the middle of that lineup. One two shot in the center, in to make the our professional grade. Austin hedges the hitter. He squares to bunt against Dylan Cease, who gets a far just three punch outs. Hedges pops it up left side, and this is A.J. Pollock. To me. Well, I think Jim Cott should have been there. He won 283 games. He only won, and I say only. Sold gold gloves? Absolutely. Wonderful man, great broadcaster. Beloved in the truly worked faster.
than Mark Burley, and that's hard to believe. One one pitch into right, twisting foul off the netting for Jim. The Twins celebrated his induction into the Hall of Fame. His past from Old Comiskey Park, and he really enjoyed that. Ground ball to third, easy play for Yoan. Good throw gets him two away. That's it. Cease just misses with a fast. The Guardians, as contact heavy as they are, Cease misses low with a slider, 2 0. Oh. It's real important to keep these kinds of hitters, Quan, Rosario, one of those guys. They've got double figures in home runs, but this is not a powerful team. Comebacker got Cease into center. Quan making a big turnaround first, but all attention on. D See how Cease battles back after getting plunked. Ground ball to short. Underhand shovel to C in the bigs. Josh Naylor, the first batter of the top of the sixth. He was checked out by everybody that could come out of the White Sox dugout. As Naylor floats one left side, and Moncada will put it away easy for out number one. Look, this is a day. Reyes with one out and no one on. Kick in the pitch. On a breaking ball, gets him to go. The sixth inning is brought to you by Mike's Hard Freeze. And I think, Steve, you know, for me, I'm always Andy Kofax, who's 86 years old. And he he said that he probably the time. And being a professional is learning how to win with less than your best. Called strike three. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think the philosophy of the curveball is to just have it be high for a while and bring it right back down, just like that pick. Well, there's two that does just that, and there's another one that stays in the zone for a while and dips down very low. Oh, one shot to right into the corner and past Sheets. Big turn for Andres Him. Cease has been in control. That pitch count creeping near 90. The first one, a slider bounced out in front of the plate. First things first, he's got to get out of this. Here's number 90. Outside on a heater, 2 0. Oh. Since we're talking curveballs, I feel like you're the guy to talk to about this. There's a lot of conversation. If that system is then all done by computers, 2 0 oh pitch slider down. Well, there's also the curveball that can also do that on a big break and slider. 3 0 oh, Miller taking all the way. We accepted that, and the pitch clock just as if it was natural. 3 1 pops out of the mitt of Sebi Zavala, so down to third. Throw some strikes and get us out of this and empty whatever you got left in the tank. He said it was Miller, it's Clement. The first pitch misses down. C set at the belt, runners at first and third. Good fastball that time, even. 1 1 pitch. Down on a slider. 2 1 from Cease. Runner goes from first. Balls into left center. Racing in is Pollock and he'll make the play.